Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video of scalable thinking, we are going to learn about the most important thing about building distributed system is cap theorem. So let's understand what is cap theorem and how it helps us to build a distributed system and we'll also try to understand its advantages and disadvantages as well. So to start with, let's first understand what is cap theorem. So cap theorem stands for consistency, availability and network partition. So cap means that it's consistency, availability and network partition. So whatever the distributed system that we build, we roam around these three values. So let's understand that in detail. So here you can see that it's a triangle made up of consistency, availability and network partition. So what this theorem says that whenever you're building a distributed system from this theorem, you can only choose two things to make a distributed system. So it says that either you can choose the consistency and network partitioning or you can choose network partitioning and availability or you can choose consistency and availability okay so either of those three things you can choose to build a distributed system so let's understand what are these three things so this means that cp means that you either do consistency and partitioning either you do consistency and availability or you do availability and partitioning okay so these are the three things that we can achieve using this cap theorem for our distributed systems so let's understand that in detail as well what is availability so what is availability availability means that in any of the situation you will always have the available servers to work with so suppose you have server one server two and server three okay and suppose in any of the condition if any of the server goes down then you will be served with the rest of the two servers available okay so that means your system will always be available in any of the scenarios so that's what availability means let's understand what is consistency consistency means that if you are having a system where let's consider a simple ATM because that's the best example to understand this consistency. Okay, so let's consider we have an ATM 1 and ATM 2 and these two are connected via network. Okay, and these ATMs are providing the operations such as deposit, withdrawal and balance check. So what happens is you can come to this ATM 1. Okay, and you did the withdrawal okay you have suppose 50 rupees within your system and you are doing a withdrawal of 10 rupees okay so what we'll do is it will have this data and it will sync to this atm2 as well so this atm2 will also say that now i have only 40 rupees this will also that i have only 40 rupees so you can see that whenever i'm doing any operation it is replicating that operation across the other servers so that Whenever I go to other servers or when I request the data from the other server, other ATM, I will get the consistent data. Okay. Now, suppose this network failed. Okay. When this network failed and I did some operations over here, I did withdrawal of 20. And what happens is I go to this particular ATM and I did the withdrawal of 20. So now you can see that whenever I did the withdrawal of 20 here, that particular data was not synced here and I came to this ATM as well and I did the withdrawal of 20 and this data is also not synced back. So both the server does not know what is the actual data available and what is the actual information to be synced back. So in this case you can see that the data is not consistent between the two servers two ATMs. So whenever the reconciliation happens between these two ATM the data will not be consistent. So this means that this is how the consistency parameter has been identified where any of the two servers whenever I do the request both should return the same data at any given point of time okay that's called the consistency okay so as we understood availability and consistency these are the two main parameters with which the cap theorem works now let's understand what is partitioning partitioning means that whenever I have servers available okay these are the different servers available and what happens is at any given point of time there is a network failure between any of the servers okay suppose there is a network failure here or a network failure here then what happens is 
these servers are not able to communicate with each other so when they are not able to communicate with each other how your system should behave that is the network partitioning so in this case you can see that your server 1 server 2 and server 3 because of this network partitioning as the network is not available across these servers they are not able to communicate and because they are not able to communicate they are not able to sync the data between each others now in this case we need to identify that how our system should behave okay so in case of partitioning so in case of partitioning which is a network partition how your system should behave either your system should be available or your system should be consistent so this is what a cap theorem means and this is the trade-off that we have to identify so in case of network partitioning how your system should behave and how your data should be available how your server should be available and when there is a network partitioning how consistent your data should be now there is no one solution fit everything let's understand how your system should behave so let's take the same example of atm okay so we have ATMs available so in case of ATM what functionality is that we are doing we are doing the withdrawal deposit and check balance okay now in this case the most important thing is that across ATMs whenever I go I should always have the consistent data because if I am withdrawing 20 rupees from ATM 1 and I do have only 20 rupees pending and if I go to ATM 2 again I withdraw 20 rupees then your balance would go in negative that should not happen right so in that case what you need to do is you need to optimize your system for consistency so if you are building such systems where your data should be consistent across the networks because which is very important in this case in ATM that is very important okay so in that case what will happen is you are optimizing for consistency when there is a network partition so what will happen is you are having a trade-off for availability okay so this is a trade-off so when you are having consistency and partitioning okay that is a cp system then your trade-off is availability so that means that if atm1 is not able to connect to atm2 then you will not allow any operations on atm1 okay the same goes with atm2 if atm2 is not able to connect to atm1 then you will not allow any operations on atm2 so that's a simple system that we are working with to have the trade-offs of availability the second system if we consider as a social media okay so let's have a social media platform now in this social media what you have want to do is you have posts available and within those posts you want to allow comments okay now suppose consider user one is adding a comments to post one and user two is also adding comments to post two post one same thing okay so two users are adding the comments to the post in this case it would not be that much necessary that consistency is a top priority in the system because if i'm just adding the comments to a post and if user one has added the comments and if at that time there is a network partition and if user two is not able to see that comment it's not the end of the world your system should be available at that time user two should be able to add the comments as well then later when the network is back both should be able to view comments on that particular post so in this case you can see in case of social media type of application your availability is a priority rather than the consistency so here you are optimizing for ap system that is the availability and network partitioning so the trade-off here would be your consistency right so this is how you can see that you are having a trade-off against availability and consistency the third system is the availability and consistency in the real world example it is not possible to have the available system and a consistent system because network partitions are inevitable whenever we are building a distributed system we make sure that we encounter or we have a trade-off that network partition will occur and if the network partition occurs how you are handling this system so theoretically ac system is not possible where you optimize for availability and consistency both but do we have anything that we can optimize maximum for availability and capability yes we need to go for the hybrid system because if you see in cap theorem what we are trying to do is you are trying to have 100% availability or 100%
consistency that is still not achievable in the real world scenario so what you do is you try to have the trade offs where you can have the maximum consistency available and maximum availability available so in that case what you do is you go with the hybrid approach so let's take the same atm example okay now in this atm example suppose we have the atm1 atm2 okay and now here you can see that what we were trying to do is we were trying to have three operations that was withdrawal deposit and check balance so what we can do is and what we were doing earlier is we were doing the optimization for consistency so that means that if atm1 was down we were not allowing any of the operations okay but in the hybrid model what we can do is we can have the different operations identified what those different operation means so here you can see that if we talk about check balance okay this means that check balance can not harm your account so here you can see that check balance is something that we can consider as the available system so if you go to atm1 or atm2 at both the systems if you try to check your balances in the worst case scenarios if both are not connected it will show the different amount but still you will be able to see the balance of your account so here you can see that for check balance operation you should optimize for availability same goes with deposit if you are trying to just deposit a money so if you go to atm1 or atm2 you are adding the data you are adding the data adding the money so in that case here also we should optimize for availability if the atm1 is available you should allow the user to deposit the money and then when the network is available between these two that syncing operation can happen and both the ATM will have the latest data available. So here you can see that for deposit also you are optimizing for availability. In case of withdrawal, this is something that you are withdrawing the money and in that case your consistency is important because you are not allowing or you should not allow extra money to be withdrawn from the account. Okay, so in that case consistency should be a priority. So in that operation if network 1 ATM1 and ATM2 both are not connected if the network is not established successfully you should not allow that operation until and unless network is successful so here you can see that we are optimizing for consistency so in this model if you go with this model at that time we will have the maximum availability and maximum consistency within our system so that's why it is said that cap theorem is not a one fit solution for everything we have to go with the hybrid approach but cap theorem will give us the overall uber understanding about how your distributed system should be designed and what are the trade-offs that you have to take off now this is what we considered when the network partition was there so when the network partition was there what we talk about that how we can achieve availability or consistency but what if the network partition is still there okay in that case there is a, always a discussion about consistency and the latency so suppose if you are trying to save the data okay or uh, withdraw the data withdraw the money and you want to update that information in your database and if you are optimizing for consistency and if you have 10 servers available that means that you will not say success to the user until and unless all those 10 servers will have the correct data if to update all those 10 servers if it's taking two to three seconds is this something that allowed within your system is that latency particularly allowed or not if it's 20 seconds is it allowed or not because if it's taking 20 seconds to update all the servers to make sure your system is consistent then it is a bad user experience for your user as well so how much latency you can take a hit for designing a consistent system that is still not covered by the cap theorem okay so if you want to go and take all those considerations and trade-off as well then there is a packalk method which also allows us to consider this scenarios as well. We will cover this in a separate video. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to get notified of all these new videos. But as a cap theorem, you can see that this is how it will allow us to identify the distributed systems and identify the trade-offs that we can take while building the distributed systems. So what is the ideal thing to do when we are designing a distributed system? We need to make sure that we always consider network partition as an inevitable option. So network partition will always happen and what your system should behave how your system should behave when that happens it should be highly available or highly consistent and that also should be on the hybrid model 
it will not be like okay your entire system is highly consistent or your entire system is highly available you need to make a trade off based on the functionality that we are giving or we are providing to the users and how user is impacted with those operations based on that we should consider all those different scenarios and create a hybrid model where we are having the maximum consistency as well and maximum availability as well within our distributed system so that's what i wanted to share with you today regarding the cap theorem and how we can have the different trade offs and build the distributed system if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click the join button below to support my work that's been it i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye